Hi, I'm Snowman, and welcome back to my Let's Play series. Today, I want to work on finishing up my starter base a little bit, uh, and filling in a couple farms that I've been missing in the balloon. Uh, I'm going to be working on a automatic chicken farm, so that way I have a constant source of food and I'm not having to go out and hunt all the time. As well as I want to make a bee farm, so I can have plenty of beeswax uh, to wax all the copper I've got around here. Uh, it's all kind of oxidized at this point, um, but it'd be good to have them in different stages and not just the fully weathered one. So the next project I want to work on is an automatic chicken farm. You see, I've already got some stuff Let's set up here. Uh, let's see. So I really want this to be able to do both eggs and chicken and feathers. Uh, the idea is basically, since this is a starter farm, uh, I might use, I might come back later, make it a little bit bigger. Honestly, probably not too much bigger, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, I've got, I'm seriously playing on how to build a chicken farm now. Okay, so it goes Spencer, Comparator, Redstone Dust. Basically, the way this is going to work is to take another dropper, so dispensers. There we go. One dispenser is going to dispense the eggs. The other one's going to pulse a uh, bucket of lava. So that way, any uh, fully grown chickens will get cooked. Then they'll just drop their items, go right into the chest. Um, to do that, we'll have to take a comparator out of the. Or sorry. Have the observer watch the comparator so that way if when items go in it'll pulse into the into some redstone dust oh and i need tough blocks there we go into the block to pulse this dispenser just once when it turns on and once when this dispenser is empty uh from there need a piston uh, that is holding an observer hand and another observer facing here so that way when items go in it'll shoot them out rapidly but this should only shoot once yep once when it starts once when it ends okay now we need some hoppers going into the side one here of this guy here uh, that should actually do it now we just gotta kind of fill this in doing anything special I'm just using tough and because I really like the block palette uh, let's see yeah let's fill this in with tough bricks just so it looks kind of cohesive since I'm using tough all basically for everything else up here mixed in with some copper probably try to mix in some copper somehow but not really too sure how uh, let's see, we're going to need blocks on the other sides of this. Uh, oh, we want a hopper line coming off this guy to fill this with eggs. Um, you know, just pull these down here. Uh, now we're going to need some glass. Turn the glass there and there. And then, oh, I need a slab looks a bit like an ominous skull but uh, I guess that makes sense since this is an automatic chicken farm <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just go right to the wall with this it doesn't look the best but I'm just trying to I'm trying to get something going uh, maybe I'll replace these with these with the chiseled maybe that'll look a bit better I think I need to do something just around the edges clean this up a bit maybe I'll bring this out yeah maybe I should bring them out that out with some sort of uh, pillar going up at the side uh, but first let's get I temporarily put, temporarily put a slab here because I need to be able to throw eggs in there. Um, speaking of eggs, I need to go get some. 
Um, yeah, let's leave it like that for now until we get some... Oh, I need a slab. You know what? I'll do a copper slab. What the heck? Probably looks hella tacky, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. Alright. Guess it is tough brick slab then. Oh, you know what? I should use the polished one instead. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. Alright. Now I'm gonna go find some eggs. Hopefully I have enough in my storage system to at least get one chicken to spawn in there. Just to get this started. Turns out I only have eight eggs. I think it's a one in s I think it's a one in eight chance to get a chicken, so hopefully that's enough and I don't have to go finding chickens. Uh, I live way too far up on a mountain to actually make that super feasible. It was a pain in the in the butt as it was to get these guys up here, so fingers crossed. Well, okay then. First try. Two. Two. Okay. I can work with two. That'll work. I'll let those guys grow up. And it should pull eggs down into here before going actually into here. So I'll use that to fill this up a bit. And then once this is near full, I'll switch over to, to this side. Uh, they'll keep going until this chest and the hoppers fill up, but that top hopper is pointing to the bottom here so eventually we'll be making chicken at a pretty high rate okay so i decided i didn't quite like the tough as the main block so i've switched to just kind of some uh stone bricks uh, with tough just kind of an accent around the side uh, i'm still working on it trying to figure out how exactly i want this to look uh building's not my strongest suit so i might still play around with this a bit uh, but right now, I think this is going to be probably as good as it's going to get. Oh, I looks like I have a couple, a couple bricks to uh, still replace. Uh, that, let's see, maybe something more along the lines of this. I can't tell. I kind of wish we could just have like the uh, corner step without having to have connect to anything. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll do just a copper roof across the top. Kind of tie in the copper from the other bits. Uh, uh, do slab. Um, I don't know. Uh, oops. Comes if we switch it, so it comes out a little bit farther. Yeah, we'll pull this out a little bit. Oh, I can't replace that block though. Oh, uh, shoot. All right, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've let this run for a little bit. I've been breeding the chickens up in this side and using these eggs to get chickens over on the other side. Uh, this side goes directly into the dispenser uh, to dispense the eggs to get the chickens. Uh, yeah, to get the chickens to actually cook. Once this side fills up, uh, this chest and this hopper, then the uh, eggs from this side should also go over into the center. Uh, I've had some successes i'm currently eating the chicken so i don't have it's a uh, not quite keeping up yet but once this other side fills up um it should uh produce quite a bit of food for me the next thing i want to do is put in a bee farm over here on this end of the balloon uh this actually goes really well here because if i put flowers on this far side here and here as the bees fly over the crops whatever i planted right now i've got wheat but if i plant beetroot or whatever uh they'll actually 
fertilize the crops and then let it grow fast, let them grow faster. Um, the farm I want to do is pretty simple. Um, basically, if you could just take, uh, let's see, you can take a comparator output out of the back of these beehives. Uh, once it reaches five, um, the beehive is full. So uh, if you just take and stick a dispenser on top of them, once the redstone signal gets all the way around, uh, it'll trigger with whatever is in it. So most of these I think I'm going to do with uh, what is it called? Uh, shears. So I can get the. Uh, yeah, with, for most of these, I'm going to be probably shears to get the honeycomb. But I'm probably going to do one or two with the uh, glass bottles just so I can get some of the some of the um, honey. Uh, so you can use it in different redstone traptions. Um, these farms are pretty simple. Um, all it takes is uh, one comparator per beehive running into redstone dust and then a block up. Another set of redstone dust. Ooh, that might be a problem. Oh, that's going to be a problem, yeah. So, I hadn't calculated this in. I'm going to have to drop it down a level. But the, uh, the wool there is going to block the redstone signal. Okay, let me tear this back down and I'll be right back. Okay, I fixed my mistake and moved everything down. Um, but as I was saying, if you take a comparator signal out from the back of these, run that into a line of dust, then up, and then on top of some glass, because glass is a transparent block and won't block the redstone signal. Uh, you don't need another row of glass, you can, but you can just run the solid blocks across, go up on top here, and then Redstone dust crossed, so that now if he counts one, two, three, four, and five. So, uh, the redstone coming out of this comparator that is right below me, uh, when that beehive is full, it can only at a maximum reach to here or here. So, because of uh, the way it's set up, it'll only power the suspenser, and that'll uh, will take out either the honey. Or the uh, or shear it to get the honeycomb. Um, I'm gonna keep putting in some more of the redstone, and I'll be right back. Okay, just gonna add some grass here. I want to put uh, some two tall flowers. Um, I'm gonna use roses. Is just uh, the flowers for the bees to use. They should be able to pathfind over to this pretty easily. Um, and this will let them fertilize most of the crop field, like I was saying earlier. Um, right now, it's a very manual farm, and honestly, it's probably going to stay that way. But um, there's only really one way out of this, uh, out of the balloon, and that is from that little hole you see right there. The ladder just leads down to the, uh, the deck down below. So there shouldn't be any way they can escape, so I'm okay with letting them free roam. Plus, it'd be nice to just kind of have ambient mobs just kind of flying around here, uh, make it a little bit more lively. Um, now that I've got that at added, I've got the redstone basically done. I need to fill these dispensers. Um, I have hoppers on top, which might be actually a little overkill now that I'm thinking about it. Um, because by the time I fill these, this is, would be nine stacks of glass bottles or nine shears. Uh, 
the amount of use I'm actually going to get out of this farm is probably not going to be as much uh, to warrant a full on automated system. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these and then I can just decorate that space uh, after. Okay, so I've just finished filling all the dispensers. I've got three of them with uh, glass bottles uh, to collect the honey block. And then I've got two of them on the ends with uh, full of shears. Um, I think that'll be enough. I'll probably use honey block more than I am going to use um, beeswax, uh, mainly for different redstone components, stuff like that. And I can always switch these out. Uh, I left. Well, I left them open so I could access them pretty easy. Um, now, I want to kind of mirror what we did on the other side. Um, how to free cam. I've got this, like, stone brick, the back wall with some cracked bricks, um, which I don't really have any off to get some. And then just kind of frame it with some tough to kind of tie it into uh, the other parts of the build. Yeah, and then some copper here on the roof. Uh, the one main problem is, is if you, if you look, uh, this one sticks out an extra two blocks. Um, I guess it actually went, yeah. Yeah, an extra two blocks, um, just because of the redstone. Uh, I could push the middle ones back a block, but still, it's, uh, it's gonna stick out, it's gonna stick out a bit. So they won't be perfectly symmetrical, but that's fine. Um, as long as they look pretty close uh, I think uh, I think they'll look good um, so for now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this wall in I'll come back uh, oh, I am missing block all right then uh, I'll come back and fill this in with some stone uh, crack stone bricks when I have, uh, after I make some uh, I want to take Ooh, how am I going to do this? So if I do here and here, uh, and run it up, it's going to look a little odd with that corner. Um, let me make some walls. I already like it with the walls, but I can't block the bees' nest, so that's going to make it a bit trap. Difficult, and I want to incorporate copper up on the roof. Um, so I, ah, it's hard because there's a big open space here. I don't really care for that. Um, let's see, I wonder if I bring these down a block, and then I use the copper. Yeah, stakes gonna break. Break uh, breaks. Uh. Yeah, what if I start the copper down here? This would be a lot of copper. That's fine, I have plenty. Um, I guess I could do something like that. Just tie it in like this. I think that works. Um, I should go down and get some just plain copper, not just all cut. Just to kind of mix and match. Makes and match the texture so it's not just all one. No, I kind of done that already. Um, I don't think this looks too bad. Oh, what I should do is get some. Uh, what are those called? Like copper bulbs. I should get some copper bulbs and place them here. I think this will look nice. Plus, it'll add a nice lighting effect. Um, and then I can also ditch these uh, these lanterns. Um, so I'm going to go make myself some, what were these? Oh, cracked bricks. Um, oh, I do want to do one thing first. I do kind of want it to give that rounded shape. Yeah, that's, I think that looks good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go make some crop, cracked bricks and I'm going to grab some uncut copper. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the copper bulbs in, and the uh, non-cut copper, the plain copper blocks. I think it looks good. I think it breaks up the texture a little bit. Um, I do wish there were some 
stair variants of the copper block and not just the cut copper ones, but that's fine. Um, it's all unwaxed because uh, I'm going to let it age a little bit. I do like the, I do really like the green and then like the uh, weathered look on that end. Um, I'll have to come back through and uh, strip some of these and wax them to give them some texture. But uh, for now, until <clears throat> but for now until this farm gets going, uh, I'll have to leave it at like this. Uh, now to the fun part. I've got three bees nests with about a total of five bees. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these guys out. And uh, hopefully they'll come out. I only got one campfire. So anytime now, guys. I guess while I'm waiting, I can grab some shears. Coast one guy out. Oh, don't, don't, no. Ah, bees are stupid. I just want you to find a new hive. That's, that's all I'm asking. Okay, there's still two bees. Thank God. Um,. Gonna have to rethink this campfire idea. Uh, oh, what is below here? That is the outside. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, you know what? I'll break this flower and and that beat. Can I always rehoe it? Uh -uh. Place the campfire down here, so hopefully they don't get come back out. Um, oh, how do I coax them out of there? Um, oh, it's it's raining, so technically they won't come out. Let me go sleep, and hopefully uh, the bees will come back out. So I've got all the bees out of the hives. They're just buzzing around here, pollinating. A bunch of them exploring the other end of the balloon. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to breed these bees up and so they can fill up the hives behind me. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into uh, my latest episode. Uh, I hope you have a good day. See you all later. Bye.